My name is Alistair Lytle, and this year I'll be running my dog Spot. The funny thing about Spot, he has got no spots, but he's got a blue eye. Hopefully it's his good eye, the blue-eyed boy, on the day. <laughs> I live on a farm in Donegal. It's been in the family for generations, as long as I remember. There's nowhere else I'd rather live than here in Ireland. There's no place like home. Wait. I was eight or nine when I ran at a little local trial, just solely with a dog of dads that wasn't really listening to me right. That got me interested. I was on One Man This Dog when I was 13. Maybe just didn't do as well as I had hoped. It was enjoyable. It's something you become very passionate about or you just you seem to enjoy and you get it in your blood. The international side has become a very big end of the sheepdog world now. It has given me so much travel, parts of the world I'd never been in, like Norway, Sweden, America. This year I've been invited to judge their national finals, which is a very big honour to be asked to do something like that. It would be a great honour to represent Ireland on the competition, but to win it would be excellent. comes spot with Alistair Lytle there with it all to do for Ireland that distinctive blue eye wall eye as it's known and off he goes nice and wide and the sheep are a little bit over to the left hand side which shouldn't be too much of a problem but it's not no, they, ideal no they do go the dog loses sight of them just at that point now as he's coming around now they're back into view so but he's taking a very good line round and stop nicely behind the sheep. It looks as if the dog stopped short, but he's got to bring them diagonally across the field, so the judges won't be knocking many points off here, and it's a very good start. Top marks for the outrun. 20 points given. Just one lost for the lift. He's on 29 so far. The line is good. Uh, the pace is good. Because the dogs are spending so much time at the end of the field, you will be hearing lots of whistles here. Voice commands would just be lost. When the dog gets to this post, the dog will be asked to go back to our right. He's looking back. There's a wood. He's going to need to go on the right-hand side of the wood, and he's casting out well. 16 points out of 20 for the fetch. Oh, this is a, this is a good turn back. There's Malcolm just standing there. He was holding those sheep in position for spot. He's known a head of sheep on one man and his dog. And just one point lost for his second outrun. Nine for the lift. This is incredible. But very, very shortly, the sheep and the dog are going to go out of sight of Alistair as they go behind the wood. Be out of sight from him, I would say, around about now. So now the dog is being left uh, to bring the sheep across. Now they've just come, just come into view around the wood, and he now has to bring them through the original fetch gates again. They're coming down at some speed towards these other sheep. He covered well with the dog, and they're lining up for the fetch gates, and they're all safely through. So this is this is shaping up to be a good trial. It really is. Okay, so they all join together, and then they'll travel up towards Alistair, up and round the post before they go off on their cross drive. That's it, so we've now got 14 sheep, which are obviously a lot more sheep than we've been using so far in the competition, and it's going to be difficult to get all 14 through these obstacles. But they're nicely bunched now. They've now got to try and fit between the pen and Alistair, who's standing at the handler's post, as they set off on the, on the drive now towards the first drive gates. 18 points for the fetch. Yeah, the line is good. The pace is good. Oh, really bunched up tight, so it looks like we're going to get the first drive gate. Yeah, right through the middle. This is good stuff. No problems at all. And just to note, actually, that those uh, gates are at exactly the same distance apart as they have been for all of the other rounds previous. So no allowance made. And he's certainly getting them across there. It's a fair old jog trot. 
but the bang on line, it's looking very, very good at the moment. Maybe just coming a little bit uphill, but it's good. Already spots positioned on the top side and round he goes, takes that come by command, but may have been a little early. Ooh. A little bit, but I think he'll cover and then get them round. They're still nicely bunched, so that's looking good for him. Perfect. Yes, that was good all through, all safely through, and on the way now to the shedding ring. Come on up. Bang. Now, from wanting them all in a tight bunch, he Bang. wants them to string out Come so on. that he can pick Bang. one of these collared ewes out and Bang. take it Bang. away from the other. 24 scored for the drive. Well, that's a good, that's a good score. It's a good score. Bye. I'd certainly be happy with that, and it was Bye. a good drive. Bye. But here we are Bye. in this uh, shedding ring where we've got to single one of these red collared sheep away, and Bye. there's the wall eye showing Bye. on spot as he's looking. It doesn't affect the dog, and here we go. It's coming on for the single, and they're all out. The others yeah, are all run out. Oh, but I, I think the judges will accept that. Nine scored for the oh, single. Well. Oh, there we go. Bam. Well, what a round this is for Ireland. Bam. They needed the points, but anything can happen when there's 150 points on offer. Bam. Bam. So they're very nicely Bam. poised just outside the pen mouth. Bam. A couple of them looking Bam. in. Bam. 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 And there we Bam. are. In they go. A completed course. And listen to the crowd. Job done. Ten points for the pen. Let's total up all of the points awarded for that round. 134. Let's go pen side and have a word with Alistair. Very happy with that. Yeah. It was a good opening score, so it leaves everybody else under a little more pressure now. <laughs> A stunning round from Alistair, and he and Spot have well and truly put Ireland back in the game, which means that Gwyn Jones from Wales really has his work cut out.